We're back to the Neil Haley Show. My guest today is Paul Hollis, author of the Holloman series. Paul, how are you? And we're going to break down specifically enough the characters that could be missed in all three Hollow Man series books, okay? Let's go to the first book. We always talk about Doc. We always talk about Zeta. We talk about the villain. Who else is involved in book one? Well, there are a lot of um, uh, su supplemental characters. Um, one is is actually a, a a little fortune teller that I run into, and and he, I, I'm looking for information, and and uh, he's he's got a, a a very good personality, a really short short fellow. Uh, probably he was probably less than five feet tall. He was really small. So we, we've got that guy. We've got um, another guy, Bobby, who was was um, was actually a roommate in college, but but he. Um, uh, decided to um, to push his luck and live on the fringe in Europe, and and uh, so he got to know everybody and everything that was going on in in any particular area, and uh, and I was able to use him for um, for information, basically. Oh wow! And he and he had a great and he had a great personality. Yeah, very very upbeat and uh, dynamic, and always after the ladies, of course. But okay, yeah. What about book two now? What characters were in book two? That who's the villain um, in book two? Uh, book two, uh, it's um a guy named Barrington, but and uh, he is af actually after um uh money. You know, I mean, it's it's a, it's a novel of greed rather than violence, um, and so he he he's actually wants to control the the entire stock market, the entire marketplace uh, in in the in the Commonwealth of Europe, you know, sort of thing. So, so he's he's after um, something bigger than he was at the time, and uh, and he had a lot of backing from the from the one percent, let's say, um, to to do uh, what he was doing, and and if they lo and if he if he didn't succeed, then they really didn't lose a whole lot. But but if he did, then they would get they would gain even more money, you know, sort of thing. So so that's that's uh, basically there. Um, uh, there's a a very uh, a good policeman in uh, book two who's who is constantly <laughs> a thorn in my side. <laughs> uh, a British uh, British um, uh, <laughs> Scotland Yard fellow and uh uh nice guy but I, I i didn't really run into him all that much i just heard stories about him but i know he was he was breathing down my neck a lot uh thought i thought i actually was involved when in many of the bombings and uh and that sort of thing just just because i happened to be in the area right <laughs> so so it's like oh you're, you, there's here's this guy he's in the area of like seven bombings and it's like how could he not be involved <laughs> right so 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 we got that guy yeah so and book three is uh, a, a different kind of thing. I, I um, ran into a really a, a, a psychopath, you know, basically. Uh, I mean, a, so whatever you want to call him, sociopath, psychopath, he was he was a merciless, merciless killer. And um, and, and I'm just that I only ran up, ran into him when when uh, he was bound and gagged one time and then i had a uh, did i did have oh, a stop that part that, right that, there uh yeah you, you froze you froze right there so we'll keep going oh. let's stop right here okay so the best place i got at least enough on this all right hollowmanseries.com check out paul i appreciate it paul thanks for stopping by man